<laughs> Welcome back to Whiskey Thieves TV. You got the general, Joey LeBaker. How's it going, guys? Dude, it's episode number 18. 18. Ooh, 18. That's flying by. Now, why is today special? Hmm. 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 Yes. Yeah. I was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> but it's yeah. a big deal. Okay. Yeah. As any of you know who have YouTube channels, um, the first hundred like a huge roadblock because it starts getting momentum. You get a better idea of like what's working for you. What's work, what are people starting to enjoy more? And you could tailor the content a little bit better. Now. It, it is it's hard, better. right? It's it hard. Was, yeah. It was funny. I was talking to someone the other day that hit seven viewers and they've been at it for a couple months now. And they're like, how would you guys get to 100? And um, that stupid fly, yeah. that damn fly, shoot fly, because I'm full of shit. Yeah. <laughs> um, and like I was just saying, you know, a Joey, Joey's like a mastermind when it comes to like you Marketing. know really generating yeah. buzz, and I think that has a lot to do. A lot with to it. do with it. Sure, it's not Absolutely. me. It's not me. <laughs> uh, you know, I, I I like sit back. I just show up. And He's drink. just the pretty face. That's yeah, I it. just show up and drink, but. Yeah, today, you know, we're really stoked. Last night we had a little celebration, mm -hmm. yep. a little shout out to all of our subscribers. We really want to thank you guys and hopefully more to come. Um, we're enjoying ourselves. This has always been about just having fun. So we've had, you know, a lot of stuff going on. Um, one thing I did want to say is it's kind of, it's not a plug, but it's something that I actually have... Uh, was introduced to, I was going through, and I, and I found this app magazine, and I'm sure most of you guys out there know about it, but if you don't, I highly recommend it. So, Whiskey Advocate. Have you guys picked this up? Have you read this? Yeah, yeah. it's based on your recommendation. Yeah, yeah. so it, it's, it's great. It's Look, there's a lot of things that uh, you can learn about whiskey. They, they have a lot of great articles, but they also have, oh yeah, oh, oh, oh baby. Whoa. Oh, yeah. damn. Oh, my God. Do you see the curve on that? I, I see the curve. Dude, put, it, put it down. <laughs> <laughs> it's just having it, hot. It's getting hot in here. But anyway, um, but one thing that really jumped to, jumped out at me was um, what's happening on December 4th in San Francisco. What's happening on Boom. December 4th? Whiskey Fest. Oh, my God. That's gonna We're going. So We're going. Cold. We're going. Tickets yeah, San in Francisco hand. San is not far from us. Yeah. yeah so. We're close. Yeah, we're so. Really excited about that. It's actually the Bakers. It's your birthday right around then, right? That's so right. we're gonna really oh, celebrate. We're gonna take it up. <laughs> we're so gonna, we're if gonna any definitely of take it up a notch. You guys out there are going to Whiskey Fest. Yeah. Let us know. Put it in the comments. Let's hook up. Let's meet. Let's drink. Um, super amped about this. But I highly recommend again, you know, taking a look at uh, again, it's called Whiskey Advocate. Just go online the website. It was really cheap. It was like I think it was maybe fifteen dollars for the year. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. So it was like twelve. You know, I think yeah. they have you know twelve uh, issues, um, but it, it really covers the gamut. Love it. All right. So what All are right, you doing cool. today, dude? So so today is a very special day for me. Yeah. Uh, as you can see, we got the lineup, and, and we don't have the full lineup. We actually, we almost do. We're missing one bottle. This one is a, a kill bottle. <laughs> but um, we almost have the full lineup. We are missing the reserve, so they're 13. But today is all about Dickel. George Dickel. George A. Dickel. George A. Dickel. Salute! Boom. And there's, you know, I've had this passion for George Dickel. I was introduced to Mr. Dickel about, I'd say about a year, two years ago, when I went to Nashville. Um, and I had the honor of going down to the distillery, but I met a lot of cool people there and everyone that worked there were phenomenal, not only knowledge, but just fun to hang out and drink. And we were like, we called them, we were running late there. The distillery was, I think they were, they were finishing up the tastings at around five. We got there like 4.45 and they're like, oh yeah, here's a private room. And they just started Oh, pouring. that's so cool. So that's when I really got introduced to George Dickel and I was like, man, if, if, the character of the distillery says anything about the whiskey, I'm in, I'm all in. So I started drinking George Dickel and, and, and it's kind of like one of those brands that a lot of people overlook. Sometimes because the price point's lower. Yeah. So they think, oh, well shit, you know, we talked about this last time. How do you know if a $40 yeah. bottle is better than an $80? dollar bottle right whiskey yeah. thieves tv yeah exactly, <laughs> right i mean that, that's kind of what we do right yeah. this is the whole thing and in fact like when you look at you know the uh one of my posters here uh, the 13 year reserve 
It's a $36 bottle of whiskey That's that not bad. beat everybody on the playing field yeah. in 2019 at San Francisco. Yeah. Uh, yeah, spirits competition. They took gold. And I think that's one thing that we've learned here because we're not whiskey snobs. We're like, man, well, bottom shelf, heck yeah, bring it on, right? <laughs> well, hold on now. Black Velvet. <laughs> well, Black Velvet, I don't even <laughs> think you could go in and ask for Black Velvet. I don't even know if that's on the bottom shelf. I don't that's know, like, man. That's down in the cellar, like collecting dust. It's right? just staring it's at us. Yeah, it is. It's not up here. It's watching It's us. over there. It's Anyhow. watching us. Anyway. <laughs> You know, there was, I, I saw this video, or I'm sorry, a picture on Instagram of a guy wearing a dickle hat. And I was like, man, where do I get that? And I started looking on the site, I couldn't find it, and I made a comment. And it just so happens, there was a, a response to my comment, uh, Dickle Darling. Now, big shout out to you. Um, she stoked me. She's like, hey, she works for George Dickel. I think she is PR. I'm not completely sure if you're at Cascade Hollow or not, so you have to correct me on this. But she's like, give me your address, I'll send you a hat. I have hats for you guys. Hey. Well, I know that you oh. like that, and you like, you're kind of a man in black, so you Thank get rid of you. your pal. And um, so yeah, she hooked us up with hats. But something that she did that was like, she's like, and I sent you a little uh, special gift for this. For the bar, I almost said set for the bar. <laughs> for the bar. Um, and I'm gonna show it here. And this was a piece of artwork uh, that they had done in Nashville, um, and it's called "The Handmade the Hard Way." And it's just a really I'll cool, yeah, real cool Art Deco. Um, yeah, perfect uh, uh, art that they did, and it was hand signed. <laughs> which oh there was only a hundred of these made this is number 41 and it was hand signed by nicole austin who is the master distiller there at george dickel and i mean phenomenal so i, I can't say thank you enough to uh, your generosity for just you know stoking some guys that are on, at this you know mm -hmm. having fun drinking whiskey absolutely thank so, you very much so today in honor of mr dickel we're gonna do a dickel tasting Let's do it. So we're going to run through the Dickel hand select barrel. We're going to run through the Sour Mass. That's the special 12 that probably you, you're probably most familiar with. And then we're going to run through the rye. And then after that, we're going to do something special. Oh, I don't even know about this. Yeah. I know. Yeah. Well, see what <laughs> Surprises. Got. Surprise. Always fun. All right. All right. All right. So cool. Let's get on with it. All right. Hey, you guys ready to drink some whiskey? Yeah, absolutely. Let's do this. So we're going to start with the 12, special 12, and then we're going to work our way up. So this honestly is one of my favorites. Um, price point, like, dude, you're like 21 bucks, man. And it is a, I'll put this against most higher end whiskeys almost any day. <laughs> you like yes, that? Yes. I just slip in there. Yes, I like that. <laughs> How rude of me. I should have always taken care of my guests. Oh gosh, yeah. So, oh wow! Again, this is the Dickel Sour Mash Twelve. Very Good little light. amber hue to it, but yeah. it's lighter for sure. Right. Little maple. All right, let's go in. Let's do it. God, that's, I love that. That is such a unique taste, right? Yeah. It's 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 smooth. It's it's you know it's a real mild profile. I feel like the best part about 12 year is for somebody who doesn't have a lot of experience, it's a great entry level because it comes yeah. in, it's very easy on the nose, it's very easy on the palate, and I feel like it's really, the the sweet flavors are right there in front. You don't have to dig very much. Yeah, no, they're right there. So they, first grader, I'm in. Yeah, so, <laughs> yeah, 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 I know. So I'm, what do you guys got right off the nose? Well, like for me, I mean, every time I, I, I caramel, like brown sugar, like it almost like sweet, honey like it's it's a very sweet smelling yeah. whiskey it, it's not it's not offensive it's not alcohol forward it's not like you know it's nothing like that yeah, i agree yeah with all those points i listen it's <laughs> and the taste mimics you know yeah that's oh, the yeah. thing it, it really mimics the smell yeah like you know? i i guess i don't know about you but the aftertaste after it settles in your mouth yeah bittersweet chocolate oh mm. wow i like that yeah, yeah. So right. it, it fits that whole sweet you know flavor profile that you're yeah, describing yeah. But, so this is good i love it cool it's on to like the a cliche oh. thing too 
Yeah. Like a lot of people say, we're super sweet. We're super sweet. You ever smelt them? And you're like, I don't smell anything yeah. sweet. This is one of those where you don't have to dig very deep. It's right there in front of your face. I right. totally agree. Yeah. Uh, that's just a heavy pour. <laughs> <laughs> he does that. He does that all the time. Oh, yeah, you got to finish that. I got to like. You got to finish that. Uh. So just poured you guys the rye. <laughs> I just told you guys, oh, this is going downhill fast. <laughs> <laughs> it's not my fault. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, I just told you guys the rye. All right. This is the Dickel rye. I actually, I remember tasting this, I think, at Cascade Hollow, but I took a lot that day, so I do not remember the profile at all. So, this is kind of like a new taste for me. I do know the mash bill, though, is 95% rye, 5% malt and barley. So, that being said, let's get to the nose. Spicier. Mm. Definitely smell that rye. Mm, smooth, know? though. I don't smell near the rye that I smelt when we were doing uh, the other rye tasting last yeah, week. Yeah, yeah, I feel yeah. like this is way more easy. It's definitely on, me on, it's mellow. On the nose. Yeah. yeah. Which I like because now I can find other yeah. things. I actually smell more of a, a cherry grape now, which I've been looking for. Mm. And I think it's because I'm not overwhelmed by the rye. Yeah. Yeah. I, again, vanilla. Mm. It's kind of, you know, we, we were talking about, you know, spices, spices that come to mind. You know, we were talking all spice and... You know the the process is very look on a on a rye the bill is pretty is pretty normal right it's just the way it's finished is the way that the complexities come out so oh that is good wow but definitely heater different oh I agree. definitely different oh yeah the finish the taste, is totally yeah I don't know it's kind of wearing off it's not hot. It's definitely a pepper. It's a bit of, I, very, I, very light. I was just going to say pepper. Like, I, yeah. Zero I taste chest pepper. heat, though. That's good. Yeah. That's good. That's. Whew. I'm enjoying it. Yeah. Wow. Well, then I guess we got one left. Yeah. Damn. Uh, All right. Boom. All right. Here so, we go. Mm. Number three. Mm. All right. Right off the bat. Mm. Nice amber color. Very honey-esque, right? Uh, the scent. Again, very mild. It doesn't have that harsh nose feel that you usually get for some of the, the, the lesser whiskeys. Um, I get caramel, toffee. I get very sweet. All right, now I'll do it. All right. Very, very slight bite. Oh, but sweet. good. Yeah. Right there on the sides of your but tongue. That comes, that's the age. It's the age. That's the age. Nine years. Nine years. Yeah. Yeah. And it has a lot of different... Coriander. <laughs> Fuck you with the coriander. Yeah, thanks for joining us. Big shout out again to Dickle Darlin for hooking us up. Hope you guys enjoyed your Dickle Rye old fashioned. Oh yeah. boy. Cheers. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And hey, thank you for the first hundred. This is to you. Mm. 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 These guys. Gee, look at that. Where are you going? Hey, Joey. Yeah. Can you pick up land and go ahead and head on home after you finish recording? Yeah, sure. <laughs> That's what I feel like when I leave here. <laughs> Not a problem. Can you go to the store and go get some bread? Sure. <laughs> That's what I get. No, I was going to say, this That's is a true. great entry level uh, bourbon to get into because it's not hot all over the fucking place. <laughs> you assholes. <laughs> Hey, I, love, I love the uh, I love the home home set. <laughs>